Hey guys, Chris at The Rock, Rockford Ordnance. I'm bringing you a rifle today. Uh, it's special in a lot of ways, special to me and just special. It is a Colt SP-1. And it doesn't get nicer or newer than this. Let me just give you a little fly by here. Sorry, I got some fingerprints on it, but uh, yeah, Colt SP-1. And had this gun since new. Um, came from my father and it's just one of those things that uh, he came across and had for years and years that at the time didn't seem so special but now you know we kind of know what these are they're pretty darn collectible and there's not a mark on it it's like the day it was made very low round count the original mags the sling that came with it everything and these uh, Guns are just that, they're pretty rare. Um, this one happens to be a serial number, well, let's say this, it's more than 9,000 and less than 10,000. So it's a serial number under 10,000 gun. All original, never messed with. Um, yeah, this is it, guys. Look at this sucker. Just nice. Um, what makes these special? Well, they're the first ones Colt put out and they've got a lot of the accoutrements that uh, the original Vietnam guns had. This one has the three-prong flash hider and all these things are stock. This is just how this gun came from the factory. So uh, three-prong flash hider. Really neat. I always thought these looked really cool. Um, it has the uh, typical uh, uh, A1 sight on it, the triangular handguard, and this handguard's in super good shape. There's no cracks, nothing. Uh, really, really nice. The upper receiver is uh, the built-in carry handle, not removable. No forward assist, obviously. Um, all your standard controls. The there's a few things is. As these guns went through a few changes, you'd see different uh, things start popping up on them. Flash hiders, um, the safety, some of them had holes in the middle of them. This one doesn't. Um, I've watched some videos. Uh, Misha, Misha Ko's got a good one on it. And he goes through it stem to stern and tells you everything about it and what years or serial numbers that some of the things changed. And I'm not the historian he is, but uh, he's, if you're into that kind of stuff, he's got some really good videos on it. But there are some unique things. Um, I love the original stocks. Uh, just really nice. They had, you know, the, uh, the sling stud down here. Uh, also on these sights, the sling mount up front. 20 round mags. Uh, Colt, let's see, yeah, Colt AR-15, 223, uh, just one of the original gray early mags. What's neat about it, there's some different parts. When you look at the buffer, let me see if I can get the buffer out for you guys here. Just a sec, there we go. So it's got the original early style buffer, which is really unique. And just look how clean this thing is. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing. And it's fun to shoot. It's a great shooting gun. Great shooting gun. Just the recoil impulse and everything uh, with the rifle and gas and everything. Just nice. Um, typical fire control group. There's not much has changed, guys, all in all, when you look at things. 
um, bolt carrier has the chrome bolt and then the black carrier um, but the bolt carrier is chrome lined as is the barrel and everything and you know I'm not much of an AR guy I like ARs I have them but you know I like my AKs but this gun is just something really special uh, you know the original grip and all notice no um, finger um, what you might call it the finger groove and just so comfy but thin profile barrel I think that looks really cool with the flash hider um, I remember uh, going to get this with my dad he got it at a sporting goods store and uh, took it home and in later years I don't know we were in our teens early teens and we'd go with him to the range and shoot this shoot this and an FN and a few other cool things he had and uh, it was always just a neat neat gun and uh, it brings you right back to that era of Vietnam you know I'm one of those in that age group where when I was young you grew up watching the news every night uh, you ate TV and you watch the news on the black and white set in the kitchen and they showed the footage from Vietnam and gave the the counts you know the body counts and stuff like that and it was part of life and you, you didn't know much about it you were young five six seven whatever uh, maybe a little older but um, yeah this became iconic and uh, all the movies um, I, I really like watching um, the movie we were soldiers probably one of my favorite um, all-time war movies and uh, just great movie and they were really um, historically correct on the firearms in that movie um, Mel Gibson uh, wanted it to be that way and they made sure they were all period correct and uh, so you see that on there which is kind of cool and uh, when I watch that movie, sometimes I get this gun out. It's just neat to see them with the same thing, you know. Um, even the butt pad on this, guys. Look at the butt pad. Every, there's just not a mark on anything. Uh, what else was I going to show? Oh, instead of the, uh, uh, the pin up front, you've got the two headed screws on both sides here in here so you don't have the uh, pivot pin and the, and the takedown pin like you do on newer stuff but yeah decent trigger nice nice gun I just thought I'd uh, break this out and show you guys and see what you thought just something a little different um, yeah, one of my favorites. I like I started to say. I remember shooting this as a kid, and that twang, you know. And uh, it was always easy to shoot as a kid, but uh, you know, certainly louder than most of the stuff you shot, uh, other than maybe the FN and stuff back then. But uh, yeah, it. I pulled it out of the safe, and I bet it hadn't been cleaned since the last time we shot it, maybe in the '80s or something. But. Uh, thought uh, it would be appreciated by some of you so uh, yeah here it is I don't know if this sling was original it's certainly a military style sling it's got the clamping device like the uh, like the grand slings do here to adjust it I'm pretty sure it is original but uh, yeah serial number under 10,000 uh pretty neat pretty neat so if you guys got any questions or anything or comments a lot of you guys i'm sure know more about this than i do um like i said you know i'm more an ak fan but i certainly certainly appreciate this rifle for what it is and uh yeah we shoot it i'm gonna take it out we'll, we'll bring you a video shooting it um very accurate i shot it not too long ago i i shouldn't say I, I cleaned it after I shot it, but before that it hadn't been shot since the 80s. And uh, there was 
a little copper around the, uh, the muzzle device and everything, but it all came out perfect and uh, oiled it up a little. That's why you're seeing these fingerprints, but uh, yeah, really, really nice. Yeah, if any of you guys have something similar or uh, comments or you remember guns like this from when you were a kid uh, or maybe you were in Vietnam and you used one uh, very similar to this, uh, let us know. It's, it's really kind of a historic rifle and certainly very collectible. And uh, yeah, one of the, the originals. We take them for granted now. You, you know, we buy an upper, we buy a lower, we throw them together. But uh, this was the real McCoy, you know, and uh, fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. Just want to throw you out a quick uh, video. Uh, we are going to be doing a live stream tonight, 8 o'clock Central Time, Coffee and Kalashnikov. So check it out. Guys, please make sure you like and subscribe. We need some subscribers. Jump in and you'll see all kinds of cool stuff like this. You can catch the follow-up video of us shooting it. We still have our favorite AKs video series coming out and uh, ready to drop one of those. We've got some more grand videos coming out, all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, yeah, stop by, check it out. Check out our Facebook, check out our Instagram. And as always, Rockford Ordnance out. <laughs>